Hello everybody, welcome to a new Let's Play. This is going to last for 7 to 10 episodes, not positive yet. Um, we are playing on a server that I actually don't know the name of. I don't think it really has a name yet, per se. Um, we have lots of lovely rules here. I specifically like the no dating and no all caps rules. Those are super good rules. Um, but I was asked to do this by Yang2003, so do which we are, the, um, the address will be in the description as well as on my website on the page I will create for this series. So we spawn in a beautiful little, I don't know, I guess spawn area. Uh, you know, I'm going to turn on my mini-map just because I like using mini-map. We spawn in here and we've got like this big store with all these different things you can buy and you can sell things so uh, it looks like here you can sell um, just you know a log and it'll give you five dollars not sure this guy is getting up in my face but okay you can sell dirt for five dollars table for five dollars and then you can buy stuff for five dollars you can buy a protection block torches pickaxes so you know you can buy stuff you can sell things whatever I don't have any money yet, so of course I can't do that. Um, there's this nice little field here, but I don't think you can pick anything up out of it because, well, obviously it's a protected area. Now, in my time of test playing so far, I've never seen a knight. And it looks like night should be coming up upon us. But it looks like the sun isn't moving. So I'm not really sure I've never seen a knight anyways I spent some time before and found this beautiful island and I don't I don't know if this is necessarily a true island or not I haven't explored all the way to the back end of it to see but it's at least in uh what would this be an isthmus no a peninsula it would be a peninsula um it sticks out. Like I said, I haven't went around the whole perimeter yet. But it's a nice looking place. It's a pretty high elevation from the water, so no worries about flooding. Not, of course, that we have worries like that. But what I really like is just like this big little... This big little, because that's not an oxymoron. This cavern here can build a lovely little bridge spanning across that. Just like these straight drop-offs and stuff, it's so, it's so nice. This is a great little location to find. Again, more water in the front there. It's quite a ways away from everybody else, so I don't think we'll be bothered at all. This may just be a large landmass. I'm not really sure. Again, I didn't explore that far around. But it looks like we have a little outcropping there. Some more cave systems. Sand is good because you need that for glass, of course. Um, mods enabled. Let's see if that command works here. Um, okay, so we have 3D armor, beds, boats, buckets, carts, concrete. It looks like Technic, Mesocons, World Edits. What? Teleport request. I don't... No way are they... Okay, I was going to say, there's no way that they're letting everybody use World Edit. That's too destructive. I mean, don't get me wrong, you can use World Edit for a lot of really good things. But at the same time, you can really mess stuff up with it quick if you want to. Like, just throwing a layer of lava in the sky and having it pour down on everybody's builds. And burn them and destroy them. It's way too easy for somebody just to be a mega griefer with World Edit. So, I think I am liking the spot here. I'm going to go back just to the edge of that plateau. I don't know if it really qualifies as a plateau. I don't know what the exact specifications are geologically for a plateau to be considered a plateau and not just a drop-off. 
But I'm thinking right there. Nice little cave system. Beautiful. A larger cave. This is where I want to build that bridge. Which seems kind of, ouch, kind of silly to even do. Because there's, like, nothing up here. Or wait, I could build the house here. And then build the bridge coming across. And if I just straighten up the edges on this, that would make it impassable. In other words, there'd be no way for people to reach my house. Oh, hey, I got five bucks. I'm assuming you get money for every day you're on the server. That's how usually these work. I'm going to make a drop of two nodes coming off. And then maybe we'll do a little bit of cleaning and landscaping in a later video, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll find out later on, I guess. I don't really know if there's any point in doing this. You know what? There is. I can put like a little bedroom or something. You know, some goofy kind of room just sticking off. Because you figure that's going to be... Ooh, that's going to make a really small room. Let me fill this up a little more. Okay. Because you got to keep in mind one node around is going to be just the perimeter. So we'll fill this uh, out of dirt. Okay. Well, that's all right. I probably don't really want to have too jaggedy of a wall anyways. I mean, when you think about it, that's just kind of silly to do. So I'll eliminate that and then do this. And I can always fill in later on. I'm going to want that a little wider, I think. Uh, you know, I'm just going to remove this because it makes no sense to have, again, a wall that's not just straight and just kind of goofy looking when you go with all this curved stuff. I mean, it can be done and it can look really nice. I've seen it done. My skills are not quite to that level. And in a 7 to 10 episode Let's Play, I don't know how much time I necessarily want to devote on trying to perfect my house building skills. Okay, so let's set home here. We're going to use the standard set home and helps if you put your fingers on the keys in the right spot. So now we have a home position set. Now is time to not die. Preferably not die because that's not a good thing to do. Though I admittedly don't know what happens if you do. I haven't seen any mobs yet, so I'm assuming it is a mob free server. And, as we know from the rules at spawn, it is no PvP. So, nobody should be... Though, just because PvP is not allowed doesn't mean it's not enabled. I am not going to find out, though. I don't necessarily recommend you finding out, because... As he said in his rules, you will be banned for life. Life is a long time. And while I could tell you how to circumvent bans, I'm not going to because we ban people for a reason. Because they're being mean and not playing fair. And we don't want them back on underneath, you know, something different. So I won't tell you how to do that. I won't even let you know that it's possible because it's not. It's actually impossible. All right. So the sun never moves, I guess. Which I don't mind, because it gives me lots more daylight hours. What am I trying to do here? I need... You know what? Oh, I'm an idiot. No, wait. No, never mind. That's what I needed. I want to get some stone tools, but I do need a wooden pickaxe to get some stone. And I just seen that cave right here. Soup's dark, but it's okay. Collect up some stone. What am I going to need? Well, I could do the whole base of the... Ooh, I wonder if he's got... There's some nice materials that you can use. Whoa, where... Oh, 
because I chopped that tree down. I forgot about that. Silly me. That seems like it dropped a lot of saplings. More so than I feel I would have gotten in just normal old game. But maybe not. Either way. We need an axe. Because we need a lot of wood for a house. And I want to see if I can do this. Nope. I forget what that mod was. But I guess it doesn't matter because... We're not here to talk about mods that the server doesn't have. We're here to talk about the things it does have. We have hunger. Or, uh, no, that's not hunger. That's, that's just our health bar. So if we fall, we'll take damage. Um, if we eat a poisonous mushroom, I'd assume we'll take damage. But I'm not going to try to find out. Because there's no point. It's like, why would you, why would you purposefully do something to hurt yourself? Just to find out if you can. I'm not that hardcore of a reviewer here. He didn't tell me he wanted the real hardcore nitty gritty down and dirty. He just said he wanted a simple overview with like a let's play, build some stuff. Wanted me to go to the shop and buy some things. Honestly, I have no idea how to do that. So I think I'm going to end up looking like a fool when I go and try to do that. But that's alright. It's nothing I haven't done before. If you've been watching any of my videos for any length of time, you know that I quite frequently make a complete fool of myself, especially on some of the videos where I just keep dying. Like, the whole video is just me dying repeatedly, because I don't know what I'm doing, obviously. All right, now, I am liking this gorge, but it needs something. It needs a nice bridge. Now, it would make sense... How much dirt do I have? Four dirt. That's not a lot of dirt. So I want... We need more. We need a lot more dirt. Can have a wall going there. You know what? Let's go ahead and start throwing some of this wall down. And we'll have a door that's double wide. And then we'll have a wall that comes out. You know what? I think I'm going to put the wall to there. And of course, this whole floor will be filled with dirt or some sort of a decorative node. Something that looks better than grass. Because I don't know about you, but grass just really isn't the kind of floor I would want in my house. It just, you know, it, how do you clean it? Like... Do you take a vacuum cleaner and vacuum grass? Because I feel like that wouldn't work. It's also a very small doorway, but I guess it's all I need for a bedroom. Um, oh, what? A, oh, so dumb. That wall was going to be moved over when I forgot about that. I was too busy following the perimeter of this dirt that isn't complete yet. Oh, stone axe is so slow. You know what? I need to go. Oh, hey, I got another $5 at some point when I wasn't paying attention. I need to go back to that spawn shop, and I need to buy me a better axe. So I have a feeling I'm going to be doing a lot of digging. A lot of chopping, I guess, actually. Seeing as how digging would require a shovel, not an axe. Get it together, man. Get it together. This guy's going to watch one video and be like, wait, I did not want this guy making a video for me. This is garbage. Complete and utter garbage. Well, it's kind of a weird layout for a house, but eh, whatever, it works. Now, I've seen this done on a different server, and I don't remember which. They used fences to do... Okay, so we're still using that fence recipe. That works. They used fences. How did they do that? I got two nodes here. I should have done this differently. Oh well, here's what we're going to do. Uh, no. It's going to have to be a four wide bridge. That's the only way I can do this. I'm going to dig this dirt out. And pop it there and there. Then, the fence piece there. Now, I don't think I have fly. No. I do not have fly. Which is fine. You know, this is almost like a creative server, but 
it's not creative. But it's not really like a survival server. Because you don't really... Wow, that didn't last me very long. I'm trying to do like a little trellis way under the bridge. And I seen somebody did that. Because I don't remember what server I was on. I was just on some server. Just looking at everything. Just to kind of... You know, I'm just getting a touch for servers. I hadn't really played on too many servers at the point. And I was like, you know, I just want to see what people have done. You know, I kind of want to see, like, where their creativity has taken them and everything. And there was a lot of really good stuff. But the one thing that I really liked was... And they were just, like, in the randomest, most, you know, unnecessary places. Where there were just, like, little chasms with rivers. Ooh. Dude, I could so put a river at the bottom of this. That would be the dopest. I think buckets were enabled. I don't know if I'm going to have the spill privileges needed to make a bucket. Or not make it, but to use it. Come on. Oh, and I'm an idiot. I should have built this all one lower. Yeah, I should have built it one lower. Because that's meant to be the trellis work under the bridge. As I have it right now, that's the height of the bridge floor. Mmm, good. Okay, well, let's get some slabs. I don't think this is how they did it. Because how would you put a rail on that? You can't put a rail on a slab. It doesn't work. I can put a slab on there, and it sits on the ground. Hmm. I might end up with a railless bridge. I'm in four nodes wide. I don't think I need rails. I mean, come on. It's not like I'm expecting there to be dummies walking on this. I don't expect anybody to walk on it but myself. Okay, well, let's go to spawn. Um, Let's try that again. And spell it correctly. Woohoo! All right, so. I want a steel pickaxe. Um, I don't know. Do I just click exchange and... Okay, well, that's a store model I haven't seen yet. I don't know what this is. I don't know if that's a flashlight, if it's a torch, if it's a wand. I'm like, this stuff's sticking half... It is. Huh. Interesting. Okay, I don't really need the armor because there's no... There's no PvP enabled. There was just a dude standing right here, and he disappeared. Whatever. Uh, you know what? I'll just do it. Ooh, I didn't realize it was 30 torches. Dude. Oh, wait, why did... What did I need torches for? There's no underground. Uh, Rob, what am I saying? There's no night. Oh, well, that's alright. There is underground. And I will need some torches to light whoa. To light this sucker up. Um now with there not being any mobs. Oh, there's water here. I say that might make a safe way down, but maybe not. If there's no mobs, there's really no danger then in going other than falling so far that you can't get up. Oh well, that's alright. Here comes the water. It's going to get my torch. But not if I take it out first. Alright, so there's... A variety of different metals here. Tin. We'll go ahead and dig that, even though tin's relatively useless. Um, and yeah, then we'll just try to swim up through this water, I guess. Here we go. Da 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 da. And there's more water, so we'll go up through that. There we are. We're back to almost the surface. I'll just have to do a little diggy digging. 
Oh, hey, there's some colas. That'd be super useful for making torches. If I needed torches. Okay, well. Buying from the shop was easy enough. Let's get that bridge fixed. Man. I hate how it takes so long to chop through fence pieces. And I don't know why it does. You would think fences would be like oddly breakable by hand as they're grouping but no it's like the strongest material you can be up against with an axe even a diamond axe takes forever i don't understand this who made the decision that these should be so hard to chop through it just takes forever oh wait 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 i'm using slabs if i'm using slabs Slabs are going to be offset. Okay, maybe I shouldn't use slabs. You know what? No, we won't use slabs. I can't mix those back into... Okay, well, we're still going to pull that out, but... We might just go ahead and do this. Because that'll give me... At least a platform to get from one side to the other. So we won't have to worry about building this, because I'll kind of have something to reach from. A little bit? Not really, though. Okay, let's see here. We are going to... See, an axe is no faster than doing it by hand. Okay, maybe it's a little bit faster. Not much. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Spending forever chopping up fences that I stupidly placed in the wrong positions. What a life. And this, friends, is why you don't want to become a famous YouTube personality. Because people will ask you to do reviews. And of course you won't turn them down. Because that means more content. More content means more views. More views means the potential of more... AdSense revenue. More AdSense revenue means obviously more money. And while well, we all want more money, so you'll just never turn anyone down, which isn't necessarily a bad thing in and of itself. But yeah, then you end up having no life because you create YouTube videos all the time. That was my life summed up in like, I have no idea how many words that was. 100 words? 100 words or less? I should enter it into a, into a contest. Your life in a hundred words or less. I would probably win. Because that was so engaging and captivating. I mean, you're still here watching this video, aren't you? So obviously, I mean, there, there's got to be some truth to the engagement and captivativeness. I don't think captivativeness, excuse me, captivativeness is a word. But if it's not, it needs to be. Where is the... Who decides what words get entered into the dictionary? Whoever those people are, if you know them, let me know. I need to get in touch with them. I need to make captivativeness a word. His level of captivativeness was simply captivating. That's like one of those rule breaker things where you can't define a word by using the word. And you're like, well, I'm sorry, but how else can I define it? If I don't use the word, because the word means itself. Which, of course, I think words have to mean themselves, because otherwise, you know, what what would they mean if they didn't mean themselves? Like, how could it mean something besides that? Okay, well, getting back on target with this build. Again, this is a... This is something that I had seen on another server, and I really liked it. I thought it was really nice because obviously this is a voxel world and you don't have to put any supports in. You know, you can build things on stilts and then remove the stilts once you're done building it. And the world doesn't care because there's no physics. Well, I mean, gravel adheres to physics. I still don't understand why. Like, gravel follows the laws of gravity. But nothing else. Oh, and sand. Sand and gravel. But logs? No, those can just exist anywhere. And 
It doesn't have to have anything underneath them. You know, that's just silly to think that logs couldn't float. Which, I mean, I don't mind it. This also looks silly. I need to put supports going all the way up. And now I'm out. I need more fences. I can use up all my wood doing this. Okay, let's see. Let's do... I have an option to do one or... Well, I need more than one. Let's do this. That'll give me a total of six, which might be enough. Okay, we need... Wait, what do we need? I have three in the center. One, two, three, four. So the question is... Where is the dis the singular not the singularity the discontinuity on this side maybe yes it is on this side I have one down okay let's get to a distance and see how the bridge looks oh yeah that looks nice got a little trellis work going there It'd be perfect if there was, you know, some natural spring or something bubbling up. Admittedly, I can still climb to this, and with shift, I can jump up. So we're going to need to do a little dirt removal. I don't think from here I can shift jump. Nope, no shift jumping there. Good, good, good. Let's dig this one out. I don't think I could shift jump around a corner. But I did. Wow. Okay. Let's remove that so it's not there to shift jump on. And let's try to shift jump around a corner again. Come on. Come on. Nope. No shift jumping around corners here. I'm going to go ahead and take that dirt anyways because we're going to need it. And I'm going to start plugging some holes up here admittedly nowhere near enough dirt so we'll just call that quits for right now it's good enough we'll run over to the other side here probably should fill that hole in because that looks goofy I'm just gonna need some random dirt here terrain I'm sure you don't mind if I just steal some perfect now we got this nice bridge nice drop off um, it'd be perfect to do some sort of, like, a drawbridge or something in the middle there, but that's not going to happen. What do we have? We have 14. You know what? Let's go ahead and make the two wooden doors, even though they will accomplish zero, because anybody can, oh, anybody can open them. And there's... No monsters or anything, so there's really nothing for the doors to keep out. And then, you know, I'm just going to put the two wooden... Well, I was going to put them on the sides of the doors, but I guess I'll put them in the corners. And that's that. So, we'll pick it back up next time. Thanks for watching my video. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, would you consider giving it a thumbs up? I appreciate all those I can get. I'm on social media, peoples. Follow me. Google+, Plus, Twitter. Facebook. I always post all of my videos on those platforms, or links to my videos on those platforms, as soon as they go live. Which this means prior to the release on YouTube. You can watch them before anybody else. You can also visit my website, NathanSalpat.com, and see all my videos there. A really nice website, if I do say so myself. I did design it, so I might be a little bit biased, but I still think it's, it's decent. If there is a mod you would like me to review, just click on the request a view button right there. Takes you to form on my website. You just type in the information, hit the submit button. I get it. I look at it. Record a review. Post it online. You watch. We all profit. The world's a better place. Yeah, I don't know about that last bit. But hey, do it anyways. There's you got nothing to lose. I'll catch you next time.